the apostle paul he closes uh, this letter to the corinthian church uh, in this manner in second corinthians chapter 13 and verse 14 uh, we read this the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all amen so paul actually blesses the corinthian churches uh, corinthians in in this manner and he concludes this letter with this blessing um in this blessing there are some keys that we notice for victorious christian living um the first one it talks about grace grace we know is unmerited favor something that we do not deserve something that we do not earn but something that is given to us the grace of god grace is also divine enablement or empowerment right something that uh, uh, that the holy spirit empowers us to live a life uh, that is victorious so grace is also uh, divine enablement or empowerment and grace is something that is not earned but which we receive freely from god um so paul writes in another place he says be strong in the grace of our lord jesus christ so we are called to be strong in this grace um meaning that we are called to be established we are called to uh, have this revelation um be rooted in our hearts and why because we need to know that we are living our lives from that place of grace that we are not doing anything to earn uh, a favor from god we are not doing anything or we are not performing to earn god's goodness or earn god's favor or earn anything from god earn his love you know uh, everything that god does he does it because of grace he gives it to us freely and we access this we access this grace through faith the second thing that paul talks about is the love of god uh he says the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god uh, be with you all so he talks about the love of god uh we know that the love of god is unconditional you know it's a despite in spite of love it's not a conditional love it's not a because of love god loves us in spite of who we are it's not because of what we have become or not because of our accomplishments so um this love of god this unconditional love of god this love breaks barriers this love of god when we experience it and when we show others the same love this breaks down walls um this um even melts or breaks hardened hearts and time and again history proves the fact that when people encounter this love of god their lives are changed when people encounter this love of god every defense everything every wall every every defense is is taken away this love of god also builds bridges um even the hardened enemy um uh, is heart or her heart melts uh, because of this love of god because of the believer who displays this love The third thing that we see is the communion of the Holy Spirit or the fellowship or the participation of the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is our partner in this life uh, which means that uh, he wants to partner with us, he wants to commune with us. Um he wants to have a deep fellowship with us. So Paul is saying, you know, may the grace of the Lord Jesus, the love of God and this partnership or fellowship of the Holy Spirit let it be with you all. Uh, and that's how he closes. So may this be with us also each and every day the grace the love the partnership of the holy spirit and when we live uh, as partners of the holy spirit he will lead us he will cause us to live a supernatural life let's pray father we thank you that we have this awesome privilege to receive your grace we have this awesome privilege to receive and uh, your love and to show this love lord and we, father we thank you that we also have this um uh, your um uh, partnership lord your fellowship lord the fellowship of the holy spirit and father we pray that uh, this partnership this supernatural life lord will it, uh, will inspire us lord uh, new things father god i pray that by the inspiration of the holy spirit that there will be creativity and inspiration and ideas lord into our lives oh god and uh, i i just pray for new new strength and i pray for all weariness to be taken away from our hearts from our minds lord even as we live this life victoriously we thank you in jesus name we pray thank you for tuning in to living supernaturally 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.